Hey guys, it's Meme and welcome to our September of 2023 Stamp Club Reveal. And I say it every time, I cannot believe how quick this year is going. It'll be Christmas before you know it. For today's stamp set, I'm super excited. Let me tell you a couple things we did, okay? Not too long ago, we vaulted a stamp set that you guys really, really liked. But I vaulted it because I really wanted to bring it back with a twist. So that's what we've done today. And it, we've actually it's a pretty good twist because it's a very different stamp set. So if you have the previous one, they'll just kind of coordinate with each other. But this stamp set I'm going to show you today is actually become the sister of another stamp set. So stick around. There's a lot I got to tell you. But before we get started, have you joined the stamp club? Why not? What you waiting on? It's a perfect time. And let me tell you why it is. Because as of January 2024, stamp club pricing is going up by a dollar. Everything's gone up. So we're going to raise this when we have to. Unfortunately, I like to leave this the same. But because of that, if you've been on the fence about joining or if this is something you'd like to do is join the stamp club, make sure you do it in 2023 so you can lock in 2023 pricing. OK, so that information to do that is in the description below. A lot of perks. You get the stamp set every month, fresh and new that you've never seen before. And you also get 15 percent off your purchases in store because you're a club member. So check that. Check out all the details on that in the description. But let me show you the stamp set we are calling Mini, M-A-N-Y. Mini, M-I-N-I, -I, tags. That is this set. Many, many tags. So you might be thinking, oh, she took stitch shapes and redid it. That's kind of what we did here. I want you to see. We've got this scallop circle that has a little stitch line. We've got this um, inter scallop. You can see the scallops to the inside of this little tag with its stitch line. And then to do something a little bit different, we added a postage edge stamp with a stitch line in the middle on this oval. Now, the little sentiments are sweet and corny, just like you, a special treat for you, and just for you, pumpkin. And then, of course, a to and from. And then we did some little pumpkins and candy corn because it's fall time when we're releasing this. But it works with anything you already have in your stash. And even better, it really works well with sweet stuff. Let me show you. This stamp set is an oldie but a goodie, and this set is called Sweet Stuff. And all these little sentiments, Sylvia worked very hard to make sure they would fit in at least one of these tags. Some of them fit in all, and some of them fit in the larger one or things like that. And all the little candy pieces can be used as well. So if you have this set, dust it off and get ready to use it with this one, okay? Also, I was looking today in my like food and sweet treat uh, stamp sets. There's a bunch you'll be able to use with this. So let me show you how this one works. So that other twist that we did besides it coordinating with other stamp sets and being like the other stamp set is I wanted this one to have that same sort of technology. It's not technology. The idea behind our regular tag sets where this tag, if you cut a page a certain way, you can get 16 tags from one eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock. And I want to show you how to do that. Okay. So let's take a piece of cardstock. And if you're not familiar with our bigger tag sets, this works very similar. And we do have one or two tag sets that have a mini tag on them. So we're going to do something like that. Okay. We're going to take this eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock. And first we want to cut it down the middle at four and a quarter. We're going to do that the long way. Okay. You can see I cut it the long way. Then we're going to take each of these pieces and I like to just stack them up and we're going to cut these down to two and three quarters. So all that we have left, we're going to put into our trimmer and cut down. That will get you eight pieces. Okay. So two and three quarters. And then to make it mini tags, we're going to take these guys and cut them in half again. And we're going to cut these down to two and one eighth. Now why two and one eighth? because our tag height is four and a quarter. So we get this. And when you're doing this, you're going to think that stamp is too big for this, but just watch. You'll be surprised. So go through, cut all these down in half again, and then we'll stamp. Now, I love being able to get a lot of tags out of one piece of cardstock. And the reason being, it's very rare that you need one tag. Many times it's a holiday season where you need multiple, like it's Christmas or maybe you do some treats for Thanksgiving or even your Halloween treats that you might hand out. So you, most of the time you need more than one tag. And that's what I love about this kind of process. I can get so many from one stamp, right? So here's our little piece. Now I want to show you something about the, the tag stamp itself. I've been using this one already, but when you get a stamp that has a bold line and a thin line, 
many times you need to season your stamp first. Now, the way we season our stamps, there's two different ways. My favorite way, and the one I think works pretty quick, is to just use a good pigment ink, something like VersaFine Onyx Black, and stamp it like three times, and then it is ready to go. Another way is to use the All to New Stamp um, conditioner eraser. This little guy is so cool. And what you do is you rub it over the bold images and then you knock the little dust off and it's ready to go. It works because photopolymer stamps are porous and you have to fill those pores in to be able to get a good image. But either way works, but you probably will want to season this one before you stamp with it. All right, so I'm going to go to my ink here and you can see our little piece that we've cut down. Again, it just feels like this isn't going to work. It feels like it's too big but it isn't. I promise. We test, test, and retest, right? So now we're going to take our little guy and line him up, line our stamp up on our little cut piece, just like so. And then all you have to do to make this look like you have a specialty die to make this work is come right up here to these corners and snip away and you have a tag shape. Super easy. Now, we did one thing on this one a little bit different. I gave you a little more border, so you had a little more forgiveness. Sometimes we've made them, and they've been pretty close, and I like them both ways, but this one it gives you a little bit more wiggle room. You even could round these corners with, like, your um, quarter-inch round, and it would look really cute. All right, you want to stamp all of these to make 16. All right, so we're stamped and cut and we're ready to play. Now, here's what I like to do. Let me show you what I've done. I think this is super fun. I have loaded a bazillion blocks <laughs> with the stamps from the set. This is fun to me just to play. And let's just start with one sentiment. How about that? We're going to do this one that says, um, just for you, pumpkin. Now, same thing. These stamps have multiple line images. So grab yourself some scrap cardstock. So I've got this little piece of scrap. And so when I go to stamp these, what I'm going to do is just stamp them off over here and make sure I have a good image before I go here. And that one's really fine. Many times it's perfectly fine. And sometimes you need to season it. So let's do just for you pumpkin right here. Cute, cute. And then maybe we'll add this little pumpkin border underneath. I mean, this little candy cane border. That would be cute. We also have a pumpkin. I could have done that. I said candy cane, candy corn, even. <laughs> Look how cute that is. And wait till we put some color on that. That'll be super cute. So there's one tag. I'm going to go ahead and stamp this other border first on this little tag because this little border has a mixture of our pumpkins and our candy corn. Y'all recognize these pumpkins too. This pumpkin is that um, sugar pumpkin. You know, it's kind of the same as the, the candy corn. Look how cute that is. Oh, it is so adorable. And let's do sweet and corny just for you or just like you. And let's do that number first. Let's put this guy right up here. But my hand was all in the way on that one, but you'll see when I lift it off. Look how cute that is. I just love these so much. All right, I'm going to run through and stamp a bunch and then we'll put some color on them. So you can see, not only did I use the sentiments from the stamp set, but I also used some from Sweet Stuff, which is really, really cute. And now I'm going to take from this set, from many, many tags, I'm going to take the to and from, and I'm going to stamp that here. I've just double loaded that on my block, so I had them both on one block, so I can do all those at one time. Isn't that cute? I love that. All right, so I'll get all those done, but I want to show you this as well before we get too far gone. So if you have a two inch circle punch, this um, circle tag can be punched with that. It helps if I turn it where I can see what I'm doing. But if you slide this into your punch facing up where you can see it, I love punches, you guys. It's such a good thing to have in your stash. And you'd be surprised what you already have in your stash that you can do this with, with punches. And so now you have these guys and you can put little sentiments in them. How about a special treat for you and make a little circle tag, punch a little hole in the top, tie a little string on it, or use this on the front of like a treat box. Maybe put another um, shape around it and then just stick it down on a treat box. Super cute. And of course you have the oval as well. So let's put a little color on here. And here's what I love. When you're doing candy corn, it's so easy. Even with the pumpkin, it's so easy because it's two colors. You're going to use the white from your page and then you're going to use yellow and orange. I'm going to just put a little yellow here on the bottom of my little candy corns. Then I'll run a little orange through the middle, and it's so easy and cute. This makes the tag 
look like you did a lot more work than you did because you just have to add a tiny bit of color. I'm even going to use a different orange on the pumpkins just so they'll look a little bit different. If you're making treats for your child's school or maybe with your grandkids, let them do the coloring part. That will be so fun for them to color these little images in. And it's not very time consuming because they're so small and kids love quick, fast results, right? All right, on our pumpkin, let's add a little green to the top. All right, in the comments below, this is going to be divisive. Tell me, candy corn yay or candy corn nay? And I'm a yayer, by the way. I love candy corn, and I know some people don't, but it's one of my faves. And it's the time of year that Vinny mixes it with peanuts because we got to have that in the house too. So there is one um, all colored. Can you imagine how cute they're going to be when we get them all done? For the sake of time today, I'm not going to do them all, but I wanted to show you how this works. And um, I got to show you what the oval tag looks like. Shannon is fussy cutting one of those for us right now for you to see. But look how much we can do with this little stamp set. This is going to be one that you use a lot because don't just think the holidays. Think Easter treats think birthday party favors. There's all different ways you can use this. And just imagine using it as ephemera on card fronts. You know, it'll be super cute. Here's the oval. Look how cute the oval is. You're going to be able to do a lot with these. I love them. Also, you can always use our free SVG. If you don't want to fussy cut, you can use our free SVG that comes with all of our stamp sets to get this result. This is a fun one. It takes me back. If you've been stamping for a long time, this kind of has a vintage stamping feel for the holiday season, and I love it. I hope you guys love it as much as we do. Now, as always, if you would like to enter to win a $50 gift card from our stamp club, all you have to do is make a project using the stamp set Upload that to our customer gallery, just a photo of it to our customer gallery, and that's your entry to win. We'll have the winner from last month listed in the top line of this video below. And I want to thank you guys so much for being here today. I hope you enjoyed this kind of different spin on the reveal. Pick this guy up. Don't forget to pick up um, sweet stuff while you're at it, because I think you'll really like having all of these sentiments to work in here as well. All right, guys, until next time. Bye now. Mm -hmm.